Welcome back everyone to another edition of uh, the Late Night Review and tonight I want to talk about a movie I actually have. It's uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 Freddy's Revenge. It's right up here and this is a four movie DVD and I have Part 1, 2, 3, and 4 on here for my favorite horror movies of all time. There's a lot of movies that I like. I wish I had, but I don't. I'm pretty frugal. I don't spend a lot of money on movies. For someone who's doing movie reviews, it might kind of sound weird, but my channel started out as an art channel, but I've always liked movies, especially those from the 80s. Uh, so I figured some of these movies influenced my art, so why not throw some movie reviews, especially since they're bringing more views to the channel than all my other videos uh, predominantly when you add it up so i enjoy making these movie reviews from time to time but uh, yeah this is really a movie that i've always enjoyed i think everyone does a good job and uh, certain parts of this movie like the desert scene with the school bus freddie's driving the school bus into the desert with lightning and tumbleweeds there bushes and cactuses that scene in sequence kind of influenced some of my art and, uh, and along with uh, the Halloween films influenced some of my art too. And a lot, a lot of movies influenced uh, my art at least a little bit. So I thought I'd probably throw that in there and tell you about that. You've probably seen, if you have seen my other videos, I've said it before in the past. So uh, but this movie is one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies. In fact, it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I always liked this movie, even when I first saw it many, many years ago as a kid. And I've never been one that thought it was just a bad sequel. I actually think it's one of the best sequels. In fact, I might surprise some people unless you've seen my Nightmare on Elm Street re review. This is actually my third or fourth favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film. Now, part three was my favorite as a teenager, but I kept migrating back and gravitating back to the first one. Love the neighborhood. As an artist, I appreciate the, you know, the neighborhood and the, the mist. And when Nancy Thompson, played by Heather Langenkamp, is walking, trying to find Freddy, she steps off her mother's steps into the night looking for Freddy, and then you have the neighborhood, the, the mist. It's so beautiful, and the music is enchanting. I really like that dream sequence. It's awesome. And part two is the movie that reminds me the most of the first one, except for New Nightmare. New Nightmare does, too. But the house, the neighborhood, it's very similar to the first one, and that kind of makes it um, one of my favorites. It, it really, really... Um, uh, grabs me. I like this movie. I think it's a movie that uh, is really my type. The darker version of Freddy is the Freddy that I prefer because after all that's what he is. I do, don't get me wrong, I do like the jokes. I do like the funny uh, part of Freddy too. I think that's what makes him Freddy. But the darker Freddy is more of a threat, more thrilling I think, and more uh, e exciting. But uh, yeah, and then the makeup artists and the directing. I think Jack Shoulder did a really good job making the sequel for this franchise. I think it's really good. I think that uh, Mark Patton did a good job. Clue Gulliger <laughs> and everyone in here. Clue Gulliger was, he's always been an actor that I've appreciated and liked. He's in one of the f funniest movies I ever seen, Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> I. Actually, you know, I love to laugh, you know, I do like funny things, but most comedies don't make me laugh. I don't find them funny, but that Return of the Living Dead was really funny because I my sense of humor is dark, kind of more oriented towards dark humor. So that was right up my alley. And he's been in other movies, too, that, I, <clears throat> that I've seen him in. Excuse me, he's been in other movies. A Force of One with Chuck Norris and Bill Superfoot Wallace. He was in uh, Ambush at Waco, I believe, with Tim Daly, where Tim Daly played David Koresh. True story about the Waco siege. And that was a good movie, too, a fine film. Clue Gallagher, Hope Lane. I think everyone uh, really does a good job in here. The supporting characters, too. 
I like the dream sequences. I like how he shows up and kind of messes with Jesse and he's kind of tempting him. And I, I think that's just quintessential Freddy Krueger. And I like how Jesse wakes up in the middle of the night, sees Freddy, and then he goes out into the rain, walks downtown, and you see the street lights and everything. And uh, I really appreciate the power plant scene, you know, where he, they go visit the power plant where Freddy used to work. I really like how that looks. And one of the reasons is because I used to work at a power company, a power facility as a security guard for about 16 years doing mostly graveyard shifts. And I never missed a night of work, never in 16 years, except one time when they told me to stay home in, I think it was February, 2019, because of snow and whiteout conditions. It was so bad. They told me that they wanted the site or they can let the site go dark for one night. And then it was, uh, you know, back to work the next night. But yeah, it just, it reminded me a little bit of the facility I used to work at. But quite different in some ways. Uh, we had more fuel tanks at the facility where I worked. And it wasn't quite as big, although it was sizable. So that kind of reminded me of that. But yeah, this whole movie to me is just entertaining. Uh, certain parts are, are charming, like the power plant scene, because it reminded me of certain things. I like the house. I love the trees. And as an artist, I really appreciate the art direction and the neighborhood. Uh, the neighborhood was, was awesome. That's one of the reasons I like part one. It's got an enchantment about it, and it adds more to the dream sequences. Reminds me of some of the dreams I had when I was a kid. I used to wake I mean, it was almost like I was out of my body, but it was seemed like, I think it was a dream. Maybe I was out of my body once or twice. Who knows? That's it. But uh, I, uh, I w would wake up in the dream. I think it was a dream, but I, it was so realistic. You can smell the trees. You can smell the roses. And I would jump off and kind of float off my parents' porch, walk can smell the spring air. It smelled like spring and I would fly over the houses. So there's no flying in this movie, but it just, the, the nightmare movies have that special place in me because of certain things like that. But to me, it's a very successful franchise. I mean, it's been proven to be that, but I mean, in my mind, it's one that I've always enjoyed. Uh, for the most part, I think it's been, uh, there's been some pretty good sequels. Um, I do like part one the best. This one has always been high on my list, but over the last few years, it's even gone higher. It used to be like my number four or five, but now it's, a, it's usually three. It's usually three. I usually choose this over part four and part three even. Part three used to be my favorite, but I kept um, gravitating back to that original film and then this one, too, because they were the first two films, like the house, like the neighborhood, like the setting. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it because Freddy kind of came out of Jesse's chest. And even though that was a cool scene, it was kind of messing with the legend. And, you know, he didn't really have to fall asleep for this to happen. Although one could argue that, you know, he did fall asleep at Brady's house when he told Brady to watch him because he was in that position. But it was kind of... Um, Freddy, it was almost like the alien. He came out of his chest. And then what happened to Jesse's body? Did he just miraculously come back together? You know what happened? So it didn't mess with the legend some, but I still appreciated the special effects. Practical. Enjoyed it. Dark version of Freddy. Uh, definitely darker than what he became later. And it's one of my favorite movies. If you like horror, I highly recommend it. Even though most people have seen this movie, I highly recommend it because... It is one of the best horror movies to me. Go in with low expectations, though, because I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's really one of my favorites. And it's one I've always enjoyed and always liked. And so I recommend it and check it out if you're a horror fan. And thanks for watching this review. Like and subscribe. And uh, have a good night, everybody. And don't forget to share this video. Don't have any nightmares.